Hi everyone, good morning. This is Sarita from Hasha Trainings and welcome back to our PEGA interview sessions. Today our topic is on integrations. So we are going to do integrations like three multiple videos. So please keep watch every video and subscribe to our Hasha Training channel. What is run in parallel option in connect soap method? Yeah, run in while we are calling connect soap, let's say from an activity by using connect soap method um, in the method properties we have run in parallel option when we select this run in parallel option it is going the processing is going to be asynchronous which means that at the step of connect soap method the connector will be called connector will communicate with service activity will not wait for the connector to respond back activity will proceed with the next step in the downward uh, steps so there we can uh, make the activity wait after few steps by using connect wait method usually connect wait method should be used followed by this run in parallel option there we can wait for the connector to be completed and we can collect the data which has been uh, received in the response of the connector and proceed forward that's how we can use run in parallel to make the processing asynchronous between the activity and uh, consuming service okay we'll see one scenario okay we have a connector which is at present running in production okay for the service provider end there is a change in request and response parameters okay how do we ha handle from our end okay so if I understand the question, connect soap or connector rule is already been created and it is running in production, but service provider has made changes to the request and response parameters. This can be done in two ways. Like after changing, the service provider may provide us a new visual URL. We can take the new visual URL and we can rerun the wizard. So when we are rerunning the wizard, the previous uh, execution of the same uh, like uh, uh, soap wizard is going to identify for this particular visual what was already been running and it will rerun again when we rerun again it is going to create all the additional properties like maybe request properties response properties it will be created automatically only up to that the wizard can do without depending on wizard if we know the data structure of the response and request and the respective parameters we can manually create the request uh, uh, properties in the request classes response properties in the response classes and then we can modify to update XML stream and parse XML rules accordingly. And not only these two, we can all we need, we also need to modify uh, the response uh, data transforms or request data transforms by adding few more steps of property set accordingly. So that is what we need to do. Next question: What is REST integration and explain? Yeah, REST integration is an arc, REST is an architecture of web service where we can uh, build a web service by use, by following the rest architecture where rest supports different data structures like it supports json data structure xml data structure mq and also it support text html different formats of data structure rest is going to support and rest is being classified to have four different methods like get post put uh, patch and delete so all these methods in each of these method, we can go ahead and implement the logic related to um, uh, the service development accordingly. And apart from this, uh, REST can be used in Pega specifically. REST services when we create, we can use them as APIs in order to consume, in order to perform some tasks within Pega itself. That is also possible. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our Hasha Training channel. If you have any questions or doubts related to interviews or if you face any typical questions and interviews, please post it in comment box. We will reach out to you. Thank you.